Hi there, my name is Lena Kelly and I am the director here at Critchlow Alligator Sanctuary. So hopefully you'll have a little bit of fun while we learn quite a few things about the alligators that we have here. Hey folks, so my first question is from Alice and Alice is asking, why do alligators have rounded mouths compared to crocodiles who have V-shaped mouths? So. All right, Alice, great question. And that is actually one way to tell the difference between crocodiles and alligators. Crocodiles have a more V-shaped snout. Alligators have a more rounded snout, but the more rounded snout actually can exert more strength and it's useful for cracking turtle shells, which is what they eat a lot in the wild. The more pointed snout, like the crocodile, actually allows them to swim a little bit faster underneath the water. So great question, Alice. So the crocodile V-shaped snout to swim faster underwater. Alligators more rounded snout and they can exert more pressure with their bite. So the next question is from Owen and Owen asks, how long can alligators hold their breath underwater? Well, alligators can hold their breath up to one hour. And that also is dependent on the weather conditions. So the colder the temperature, the longer the alligators can hold their breath. The warmer the temperature, the shorter the time they can hold their breath. But again, they can hold their breath up to one hour. Now, when they are in the water, they can also submerge almost entirely and only leave their eyeballs and their snout at the very tip of the water. So that means they can be underwater for a long time, but still be able to breathe because their nostrils are above water. Alice wants to know how fast alligators can swim. Well, they can swim very fast. They can swim up to 20 miles an hour. How fast can they run? about 11 miles per hour but you know what both of that is still faster than a human so never think you can out chase excuse me outrun or out swim an alligator so again alligators can swim up to 20 miles an hour by powering their tails very forcefully through the water so you'll zoom in on this guy see how he's moving his tail so they can power through the water really quickly oh being a little rough house but only run about 11 miles per hour The next question is, what is the most complicated command that an alligator can learn? And this question is from Oscar, age 11. Now here at the Alligator Sanctuary, we do train our alligators to do lots of different commands, but mostly learn their name, come to us when called, uh, lay down, open their mouth. But many other zoos want to train their alligators to do veterinary um, care. So if they need to have their blood drawn or if they need to check a wound, anything like that, if they can get them to lay entirely still during a veterinary procedure, then everybody stays safe and the visit is stress-free for everyone. And then the alligator knows that he or she will get a treat when they're done. So some of the most complicated ones are definitely veterinary care. So blood draws, needle pokes, anything like that. So unfortunately, we don't do any of that at the sanctuary, but many other zoos do do that. The next question I have is from Alice, who is asking, why are alligators confused if people run in a zigzag? Well, that is actually a myth. You could run in a zigzag, you could run in a straight line, you could run in a circle. Alligators are not going to chase you. So alligators initial strike is right out of the water, but most of the time they are not going to chase you on land. So no running in a zigzag or a circle or a straight line, that is false. And one question is how do alligators catch their prey? Well, I'm gonna zoom in here on one of our alligators. His name is Spot. And let's talk about these little polka dots that are right by his face. So this particular alligator, his name is Spot, and if you look close to his bottom jaw, let's see if we can kind of get close enough, he keeps moving with me. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And you might see these little freckles, little black tiny polka dots. 
all over his mouth and jawline. So just zoomed into his mouth. So those little tiny freckles all over his mouth. Those are called ISOs. And ISOs are little sensory organs that help the alligator to feel where food is located. So they can feel ripples in the water. They can feel vibrations on the ground. And so with those little tiny freckled polka dots, then the alligators know how they can locate their food. So if I throw food on the ground, he's gonna feel it with those ISOs. So I'm gonna throw the food off to the, to the side. Oh, so he knew exactly where the food was, not because he saw where it landed, not because he heard it, but because of those black freckle polka dots that he has around his mouth. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. So those are called ISOs. So if I throw food into water, we'll see how quickly the alligators can feel that food. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this piece of food into the water and you guys are gonna see how quickly the alligators all respond to where the food is located, right? Keep watching. So it knew exactly where the food was. And then even the other one coming in from the left-hand side, that's Tom. He heard where, excuse me, he felt where the food was. Because if you see where I threw the food, you can see the ripples of where the food was located. See, it made a ripple in the water. The alligators feel that and they know exactly where to go. So they feel that because their jaws are level with the water. So those little black freckles, those little polka dots, also known as the ISOs, called an integumentary sensory organ. It felt the ripples in the water, the vibrations on the ground, and that's how it catches its prey. So the more vibrations or ripples that are being created, then it really tells the alligators, hey, that's exactly where the food is located. Let's go and move towards the food. So that is how they catch them using their ISOs.